Hey everybody. <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another cleaning motivation video. Today we are starting in this messy, messy laundry room. My husband and I bought this house as a project house. We were gonna flip it and sell it, but we love where we're at, so we have stayed. But this laundry room, ooh, yucky. <laughs> But this laundry room is um, one of the last rooms that we still need to work on. We haven't even started it yet, but it's been kind of a catch-all and I thought we would start here. Our plan for this laundry room is to move that washer and dryer to that back wall under the window. There's a half bath back there, just a sink and a toilet, and we want to take those out, move the washer and dryer back there so we have more room. Now we move on to the living room. Not near as bad as the laundry room, but there's a little bit of stuff around and we're just gonna straighten it up real fast. Put some things back where they go, fluff some pillows, vacuum the floor. Um, this time I'm going to move the couches and get underneath them. It's good to do that every once in a while. <laughs> We're gonna take this to the truck to charge phones and all of this stuff goes in the camper. <laughs> Anybody else store your beach towels in your camper? This is a headrest to the temperature. This stuff, this stuff goes downstairs. Toys, toys, toys. Oh, Jane just organized those toys and they're lovely. This, my daughter gave me to read. I recommend it's a good book. That in her room, magazine in Jane's room. And then we'll go back upstairs and finish the living room.
living room is clean. All dust and vacuum. Here's my cute little grandson. Gotta love a clean, clean living space. We do have this little mummy pillow on top of the couch and it needs, I threw it in the wash and you'll see it. Now we're on to the bathroom. Mostly my girls use this bathroom and they have plenty of beauty products all over the place all the time. We're gonna do a quick clean in here and make it beautiful and lovely again. As you can see, I have a little bit of touch up paint left to do in this bathroom for our remodel projects. And I have a little bit of caulking left to do and then that room is done. If I could give some advice on how to clean a bathroom, I would say start with the vanity and the mirror, then move on to the shower and the tub, then clean the toilet, finish, finishing with the floor. If you can do a quick clean of the bathroom once a week, then it'll never get to the point that it's extremely hard and takes long hours to get all of the soap scum and hard water and everything off. You just do a quick wipe down every week then it'll make it super simple and easy. I realize that not everyone has a shower head that you can pull off to rinse down all of the soap, but if you just grabbed a pitcher of water or cup or well, whatever you have and just drizzle it down the walls and wash away all of the soap, that's really helpful. Now we move on to my master bedroom. Um, it's quite a small little bedroom, but it, it works. We do have a king size bed in this little space, and so it does make the room look even smaller, but usually I wake up and I make my bed first thing. This morning I didn't, however. Perfect opportunity to show you making my bed. If that so intrigues you to make yours, I believe every day goes better with a bed, made bed. So, I just had a few things to kind of gather up and put away and, and I decided I had a blanket underneath my comforter and one on top and I decided to swap them so I'm going to do that real fast and then clean up my floor and that'll be all. That's my daughter just coming home from school and thanking me for bringing her a lunch to school since she forgot hers. <laughs>
does, except for she gets right in the camera. Oh, sorry, I guess I should be like me, but I gotta bend down. Hi, everybody. This is my stand up. And that's my sweet Jane. She's a sweetheart, making her debut in the video. Now we're going to clean up the dining room and kitchen real fast. And we just got a few things to put away on the table, wipe it down. And then my husband comes home and bless his sweetheart, he saw that I was cleaning away, so he decided to help me. This is our final room for the day, the kitchen. A lot of times I like to start with it because your house, it's just more motivating to have a clean kitchen and then you want to clean the rest of your house. But today I decided to do it opposite and end with the kitchen. Someone please tell me how I got so lucky to have a husband that just jumps in and starts helping me. else have a cooktop like this sometimes I love this cooktop and sometimes I just wish I had one of those electric flat ones that you just wipe off easier what do you vote for the gas cooktops or the electric cooktops
This is so cute. He was struggling to get the little sill out of the Instapot lid. And so he handed it to me. <laughs> That's what, I don't know, the difference between having fingernails, I guess. <laughs> We laughed so hard right here when I was went to fill up the bucket and right when I do he turned on the water <laughs> and it sprayed all over my shirt. <laughs> we had a good good laugh. <laughs> I I was gonna turn it on and then tip this forward and you grabbed it right as I Well I wasn't gonna sit here and hold it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Gotcha! <laughs> that was a good shot. Ooh. I made you do it to yourself. <laughs> what? Why it's you, not even. Why it's you, not even for fools. Why are you spraying yourself? Why are you spraying? Hey, why are you spraying yourself? Is that a nice husband? <laughs> that was a good timing. Thank you for coming along with me as I cleaned my home. I hope that it helps motivate you to get yours into a peaceful state of cleanliness. Now I'm going to sit and relax and enjoy a book.